This is a story about baby Mario and Yoshi. A stonk hurries across the dusky pre-dawn sky. In his bill, he supports a pair of twins. Suddenly, a shadow appears in a gap between the clouds and races towards the stonk with blinding speed. Scree! Ch the babies are mine. Wow! <laughs> Snatching only one baby, the creature vanishes into the darkness from whence it came. The second baby falls undetected towards the open sea. Oh no. Meanwhile, here is Yoshi's Island, home to all the Yoshis. It's a lovely day and Yoshi is taking a walk. Huh? Suddenly, a baby drops in onto his back. In onto. The baby seems to be fine. This is very fortunate. What? Something else fell with the baby. Let's take a peek. That one island looks like a butt. It looks like a map. Maybe the stonk was using it. But Yoshi can't figure it out. Dinosaurs can't read. <laughs> Yoshi decides to talk to his friends. Ah! Kamek, the evil Magikoopa and kidnapper of the baby, <laughs> quickly dispatches his toadies when he discovers that he missed the other baby. Yoshi heads leisurely back to the other Yoshis, unaware of the danger at hand. Kanek's forces are actively searching the island. Will these two children ever reach their parents safely? Question mark. This has been story time with <laughs> Everett. Join us next week. <laughs> yeah, that's the whole stream. Oh, this is the one where we were like, we were having we're trouble. Thinking about giving up. Getting really frustrated. Although you're doing pretty good. Yeah, maybe we were just tired. We were definitely tired. I remember being exhausted and hating these monkeys. <laughs> Even though they're so cute. They'll just straight up steal your baby, right? I think they can. My child. A child. Oh, shit. They're gonna help you out. Actually, no, they're just no, gonna they're steal your gonna baby. No, they're gonna steal the baby. Everyone wants to steal the baby. <laughs> they're so happy. Oh, shit. I'm slipping up. So I think the game might start getting a little more challenging. We might actually have to start paying attention. Yeah, you can't just sanic your way through it. Yeah. <laughs> 116 deep questions. Ooh. Uh, what is your best childhood memory? Christmas 97. Yeah. Is that when you got a PlayStation? Yeah. Okay, I got a PlayStation that year too. I know, because we like immediately after called each other and we're like, I got a PlayStation! <laughs> I like, did too. I got a PlayStation too! <laughs> I got Tomb Raider! I got Tomb Raider 1 and 2! I got Final Fantasy 7. Wow. That was uh, one of two times that I cried from <laughs> getting a gift. I cried tears of joy. So I never cried for happiness. No? Never cried from joy? Not when I was a kid. Yeah, wept, wept tears of pure joy. And then I did again next year when I got a 64. And then never again. <laughs> I'll probably never be as happy again. So we're going to get married and you're going to be like, eh, I've seen it. Eh, it's all right. I don't know why they cry. I don't know. It's oh my gosh, she's wearing a dress. <laughs> I've cried at other people's weddings. So there you go. So maybe. Like a lot of my happiest memories are just like hanging out at your house. Same, like when we were kids, when we would spend time together being best buds. Yep, palling around. Palling around. We were good kids. We were good. We would only cause minor destruction. Yeah. I was pretty happy when we started seeing each other as adults. That was yeah. a lot of fun, actually. That's not childhood, though. No. Uh, I don't know where to go. Uh, that's your problem. <laughs> Chase those monkeys. <laughs> I really hated going to the warehouse that my parents had for their business. Like when we would need to move it, my mom would like not tell me that we were going. <laughs> One time I like took my seatbelt off and pull, <laughs> pulled at the car door. I was going to tuck and roll for a second there because I really didn't want to go. <laughs> That's really funny. Was that the first time you would, <laughs> you would try to get out? Because um, I did open the door once and I got yelled oh, at. Oh, yeah. Well, you got to yell at your kid about that. Yeah. Even when you're a good kid, it's still, you know, 
You get yelled at a lot. You, you still get game. yelled at. <laughs> I was also dumb. It took me a while to become average intelligence. <laughs> I was behind, I think. What was your biggest fear as a child? Ooh, I had a lot. I didn't like the dark. I didn't like spiders. I didn't like chupacabras. Uh, <laughs> Chupacabra. I didn't like fucking fox. Thunder and lightning really scared the shit out of me. I yeah. didn't like that. Yeah. Oh, mannequins. I think this one I have to shoot him in the uvula. <laughs> yep. The little dangly thing at the back of your throat. <laughs> I'm gonna touch it. This is so crazy. There you go. That's pretty rad. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I get pooped out. <laughs> <laughs> and he's just like, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> Yoshi's <laughs> face. <laughs> I can't believe what I've just been through. And then he just yeets him over to the next Yoshi like, I can't do it. I'm with done. This kid. My part is complete. When I was a kid, I was afraid of the dark. And then when I stopped being afraid of the dark, I still slept with the light on for a really long time. I just got used to it. And I was like, just more comfortable doing it. Yeah, me too. Don't know what happened there. Eventually just stopped. I don't know. Grew out of it. Do you ever feel like loud noises will make you throw up? No, that's just you. Oh, okay. Oh. Throw a random egg. jump throw a random egg into the corner here yeah all right fuck us then <laughs> oh yeah see there it is so that's what we need so oh we there have... god i'm dumb okay okay i think we're good if we can just get in there how the hell do you get in there <laughs> This is where I started, right? So I gotta get up and then over. I just wanna see one thing, cause you can go up here. Aha! Well, we Maybe. already found that. But we didn't we like follow through. It. No? Nope. God damn it. <laughs> what do you want from us, Yoshi? Oh my God. <sighs> Really? Okay, I was right. Jesus Christ. Dirty, dirty game. I can't believe how much they managed to milk out of Beetlejuice. They milked that Beetlejuice. <laughs> they milked Beetlejuice good. <laughs> I mean, they had the cartoon, they had the action figures. I had the lunchbox with the matching thermos. I remember watching it. I remember oh, uh, the editor of these videos being petrified of that cartoon. I wanted to watch it when I was over at their house. His mom was like, no, we can't, we, you can't, we can't watch it because he wakes up in the middle of the night screaming about oh Beetlejuice. Oh my god. Well, he was creepy in the cartoon. Yeah, he was. It is kind of scary. Yeah. I, I had a nightmare about it too. About the car, like the car, the, he had a car. I don't know. <laughs> Drag him. <laughs> I'm not making fun of him. <laughs> I just think it's interesting, the things that get to us as kids. Yeah, that's like when my, when my uncle told me that my cousin was afraid of the Joker. He was afraid of the Joker. And okay. He had it like was a, oh no. He had like nightmares and I was like, pfft, wuss. <laughs> Nightmare after Jumanji. What got to you in new Jumanji? That movie is unsettling. Doesn't Robin Williams just have no regard for the children in that movie uh Isn't he like bringing them into direct danger and he's just like whatever well he's in that movie he's like no you know no education he survived in the jungle or for whatever mm -hmm. 40 years or something i don't know so what was the premise of that it's like you start playing the game and then you, the game becomes real or something the or game yeah the so game? yeah the game will never stop fucking with you until you finish it what yeah so he's got it's wrapped up in the game and he's still playing it kind of a thing or something yeah if you roll bad you're just fucked for life so like oh. he, he just he rolls bad and it's just like uh he gets sent to a jungle in some different demi plane or something because it's just like you are going to be in this jungle until someone rolls an eight. Oh my god and so that's his, horrible <laughs> his sister stops playing the game and she puts it away in the attic so he's just in this what jungle the fuck? Yeah. That's fucked up. We should watch it. All right.
Knowing how Mary rolls, that must have been scarier for her. <laughs> we all do it. Bye.